Welcome, my name is Tim, and in this short video, I'm gonna show you the proper procedure for diagnosing a faulty transformer on a gas boiler. Before we get started, let's take a look at the transformer. We're gonna click at the bottom right here and go to burner main, and then click on the transformer. Now the transformer provides 24 volts for the gas valve and the control circuit of the boiler. Uh, you have 120 volts on the primary side here, and it induces the 24 volts on the secondary side. So now you know what the transformer looks like, let's get started. We're gonna go back to our thermostat and turn it to call for heat. We can do this by clicking on the selector switch to the heat position, and this step will also turn up the temperature setting of the thermostat. Now remember, after each step, you're gonna to have to refer to the procedure guide at the top, so click OK. Next, we're gonna remove the cover from the boiler, and now we're gonna take an inventory of what's running. We can see that our burners are not firing here. We do have a pilot flame, but no burner operation. So go to the procedure guide and click no, the burners are not firing. Next, we go to our circulator pump and we can see that the circulator is also not operating. If the circulator was running, these blue arrows would be spinning. So neither one of our primary electrical loads is operational. So our first step is to check for line voltage coming to the boiler from the disconnect and breaker panel. Click on the junction box to remove its cover and then click OK on the procedure guide. Next, we're gonna place our leads at the line and neutral connections right at these wire nuts. So place one of the leads on each of these glowing orange hot spots. Now, instead of the neutral, you can use the ground, but I'm gonna use the neutral in this case and our meter reads 120 volts, and this verifies we do in fact have power coming to the boiler. So we're gonna click yes on the procedure guide. Our next step is to check for 24 volts at the transformer secondary. So we're gonna place each of our leads across the glowing orange hotspots at the transformer secondary here at the red and blue wires, and we see we have zero volts here. Well, this means one of two things. Either the transformer's faulty or possibly we don't have power to the transformer due to a loose connection or a broken wire. Um, so we're gonna click no on the procedure guide because we measured zero volts. So now that we verify we don't have 24 volts out of the transformer, I just wanna show you something on the wiring diagram. If you click on the wiring diagram, we can see that here's the transformer, and we had previously measured at the hot and neutral connections coming in. So that verified 120 volts to the primary of the transformer, but we don't have secondary voltage. So again, this verifies that the transformer is faulty. One suggestion I would make, uh, turn off the power and do a resistance check to determine which winding of the transformer is open. Oftentimes what can happen on systems that don't have any low voltage fusing is that an overload condition due to a shorted relay coil or gas valve could overload the transformer and burn the secondary winding open. And you know, replacing the transformer without checking these will result in the new transformer suffering the same fate. So I always take a brief resistance check of the low voltage loads to make sure I have a measurable resistance across them. Now after clicking OK in the procedure guide, we can replace the transformer. Simply click on it and replace it, and we've solved the problem. Now if there's any confusion in these steps that we took, click on this top left icon and you can see each step in the procedure guide that we took. Last but not least, go up to the space and make sure that heat is being delivered to the space. I would also suggest watching one full burner and circulator cycle to make sure everything else is working properly. Well, good luck on all your future service calls and I'll see you back here soon. Thanks for watching. Do you wanna try 3D simulations and VR HVAC training yourself? Then visit interplaylearning.com to start a free trial today.